Hi Andrew. This is a carriage I think is showing pretty much what yours is doing. It hasn't had any care for quite a while and they need to be oiled on a regular basis otherwise they start sticking and this piece doesn't come out and what what happens is sometimes this little um, piece stays engaged with the wheel and it doesn't turn real well and even if it does come out it doesn't respond quick enough to have your uh, line spacing work. So this is what it looks like underneath and I think that's quite a bit of what you have going on there. So it's just let's just try oiling it and then we'll see if the spring is broken in here and I think it is. I haven't had this apart yet so let's find out. Of course these are oil holes which most people don't oil it. At least they probably didn't way back when. I just have this in an easy applicator but it's um, some real thin machinist oil that I use. You can use three-in-one oil. You can use a real light motor oil, like a synthetic Zero uh, Twenty. I think they sell. If you have some of that laying around, or maybe even a uh, sewing machine oil, and you want to give it a good dosing in here. Now that'll start to loosen up in a minute, and then. Just turn it, and what'll happen is this little shaft, it'll have a lot of slime on it from that, from that residual dry grease that's sitting in here. It'll start to break it up, and it'll yeah, start to get a little loose. But it's still not coming out, but it's getting better. So just oil the heck out of it for a long time, and it'll start to free up. And then underneath, this is the other part that can be a real problem, is, let me pull that out, it's real slow. It's starting to free up actually, so that's good. But if you can take this screw and just loosen it, sometimes you can't get that screw out and then you'll have to oil around it. Okay, I got a bigger screwdriver and hopefully that'll help. Okay, that did. So loosen that up so you can get some oil in there. And give it a good dose. Okay. It's getting better. I think this spring is broken here. So you might spend 20 minutes or so just working it and getting everything loose again. Lots and lots of oil is a good thing. Okay, that's actually quite free. And this is the way it should be too. But uh, don't be afraid to oil it. It won't hurt it at all. All right, so I'm gonna check and see uh, what the spring looks like in here. So, okay, wipe up a little bit of this mess here. So I'm gonna hold on to this handle and uh, give it a crank. <clears throat> okay, this does unscrew. Yours might be a little more difficult than the, this one to get off and that is a little smaller than it should be this is one I've worked on so it's loose okay that's how <laughs> in a perfect world that's how this should come off pretty easy so that's the size that it should be and that's the size that it is right there so easy to replace uh, sometimes you can take a ballpoint pen and pull that spring off. It's a little lighter than this one as far as tension, uh, but it should work for what you need. And I just have a uh, bunch of springs in here. That one might work. I just keep a bunch laying around. And uh, actually that one might work. The spring should be about a half inch long. So it goes over there. It's a little longer. It's a little bigger, 
but as long as you can get it to stay in one spot while you screw the handle on. There it goes. It's too long. It doesn't quite go all the way down here. Oh, not stuck inside. So get that out of there. There we go. So I'll cut a little bit off of that and make it a little shorter, more to that length. It's going to be a larger diameter, but as long as you can get it to sit on here um, without falling off while you put that handle on, you should be good. Okay. Let's cut the funky end off, the one that's looped a little funny. And... Get a good idea. It doesn't have to be exact, just somewhere close. There we go. That's about right. I'm going to crimp this down just a little, see if it'll grab that, uh, that little nub a little better. Hey, looks like it'll work pretty good. Okay, so that'll hold on. Let's clean this off a little bit since we have it off. Not as many coils on this one, but it should work. Let's see. I can say a ballpoint pin spring works pretty well too. Okay, so that'll pull all the way out. So that I think will work. Let's give this thing a little more oil. And that's what you want. A pretty uh, smooth action. Well this thing, it's a out of a parts machine so it isn't adjusted well and this piece here moves a little too much and it doesn't stay lined up. So. But that was the only one I had that was uh, working, I think, like yours was working. So, But that's about right. So let me get this one out of the way. Since we've done the repairs on it, hopefully your gears are lined up. And this is how it should work and how it should look. So a real quick action on the bottom. should come right back. And then the top should spring in and out. And I've got these handles reversed, so I will switch that. Okay, and that's how it should look when you're done. And to make sure this is adjusted right, I'll take this lever here and move it down to number three. So right in here you'll see one, two, three. So if you move this, this thumb piece down to number three, it'll set you up with this configuration. And if, it, if yours is lined up like this one is, that should be about right. So let's move this back to single spacing instead of three spaces. Okay, the carriage is back on the machine. And let's see if it spaces. It should do fine. There's your one space. Okay. All right. But the key is is to get that as loose as possible. And if all you can do, if you can't get this off, um, because sometimes they're really hard to get off this knob, uh, just go ahead and oil, and hopefully your spring is in good shape. And then just make sure to oil under here too. Well, Andrea, I hope that was helpful, and uh, good luck on getting your Oliver working.